Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. Today is Monday. Oh, great googly moogly. We've got a pile of boxes. So let's open up and see what we got. Alright, so time for some Monday mail call. Oh my goodness gracious, this is ridiculously heavy. Uh, we have some AOKs uh, and we got some slabs. So let's get crack a lacking. Uh, first up here, we have um, an AOK, I assume, because I don't recall winning anything or trying to win anything or ordering anything from Mr. Brian LCS. And I've already gotten my award for uh, Comics Curing Cancer for the uh, Co Comic Book Community Awards. You've never heard of Comics Curing Cancer? Well, I don't know where you've been, but essentially it's a campaign uh, officially uh, connected with the American Cancer Society uh, where us, the comic book community, raise funds each year to help combat cancer because cancer sucks. Okay, and everything that this channel does, raising monetarily, everything else, it all goes to Comics Curing Cancer. So maybe hit that thumbs up button, help get us in front of a few more eyeballs, a little bit more ad revenue, and that'll all go to help support the cause against cancer. Uh, or you can become a channel member. Uh, that always works too. Anyways, uh, that's my commercial pitch for us here today. Um, <clears throat> all right, so we have a shiny box and... I see no note, which is fine. Uh, maybe it's in here, or maybe there's no note. Because you know what? I am guilty of that all the time. Of intending to send a note with things I send out to people, and then not. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. Uh, looks like we got a, a tumbler of sorts. Oops, a cleaning straw. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Brian. We have ourselves a Spider-Man tumbler. Very cool. Thank you, sir. Um, I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I super appreciate you. Nonetheless, it looks like inside this must be from Spidey's powdered tumblers because there's Spidey powdered tumblers. Uh, stickers in here along with some care instructions and I'm gonna move that off to the side the brush for cleaning it super appreciate you sir uh, yeah cool beans and weans because I can use that all right <clears throat> so next up this is a package uh, comic book fiend club yep well it's uh, from Tam Sir uh, Sigarian Sigarian God, I'm butchering this, Tam. I'm sorry. From the Mad Collector on Instagram. Uh, in fact, he was our guest on Saturday's Only Slabs. If you want to check out uh, that Only Slabs episode, you didn't see it yet. Tam was guest. He is the uh, interior artist for uh, the Terrifying Crimson Bat, which was a comic book put out uh, for the Comic Book Fiend Club. Uh, well, it was available for others. Anyways, Tam sent me this uh, AOK. -okay. Uh, to uh, as a thank you, I guess, for having him on the uh, show. Um, as well, he sent it to me in advance uh, when I reached out to him, he said, "Hey, I want to send you this." I'm like, "Okay, cool. I definitely am excited." Um, and so there's a bunch of uh, there's a baggie full of stickers here, uh, Comic Book Fiend Club stickers, Terrifying Crimson Bat stickers. Um, oh, that's cool. They got one that's like a Hydra, uh, the Comic Book Fiend Club. That's hella cool. Dude. And then uh, Tam's art. Um, yeah. So Tam is an artist as well. Does some stuff he's got. Uh, I'll put his links down below. <clears throat> but let's see here. And oh damn. This must be like. It's a whole ton of variants. So we got the terrifying Crimson Bat. Uh, and he signed it. And we got the clear backer board there. So crimsonbatcomics.com. Very cool. And then the uh, Virgin variant. Also signed. 
this is one of those homage covers. Uh, Los Angeles has a new problem, the terrifying crimson bat. <laughs> so a whole mess of the Virgin covers. That is, or the, the uh, first issue is all the variant covers. And look, he got clear backboards in all these, too. Proper freaking job, my friend. Oh my goodness. Uh, or actually, it's weird. Oh, I guess maybe it's not a clear backer board. Um, because I'm seeing that there's a white backer. It's just they had special backer or an insert done or something, I guess, for them. But that's cool. This book doesn't make your skin crawl. It's on too tight. <laughs> Season's greetings. That's great. Oh, Snapdragon. Dude, this one is freaking lit. Look at that. The old Neil Adams type title homage. That's awesome. Oh, and a Tyler Kirkham cover. Kind of homaging uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, was it 238? The Hobgoblin? Look at that. Tyler Kirkham did a cover for them. That's awesome. And I don't know the cover artist on this one, but there we go. Get another one. So there you go. I got a whole bunch of different. I got like, I don't know if that's all the covers, but it's a lot of the covers. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight covers. Two of them are signed. That is awesome. Tam, thank you so much, man. The Mad Collector. Make sure you go check him out uh, and uh, follow them and check out what they're doing over there. All right, uh, next one up. This is uh, sort of an A-OK, -okay, but sort of not. So um, Chris at Retro Rocket Comics, son of a Bruce, had reached out to me and, and told me about a uh, facsimile or reprint that was being done of Startling Comics 49. Startling Comics 49 is my f grail book, whatever. And I said, yeah, I got to get one of those. I talked to my LCS about ordering it. They said they were going to order it for me. It's never come in. Um, Chris said he still had a copy. So I said, okay, let me go ahead and get it from you. And he was going to send it to me. But I said, no, no, no. Let me pay you. You're a small shop. Uh, let me pay for shipping, whatever it was. And so I sent him some money uh, for shipping and handling and maybe hope uh, hopefully covering some of the cost of the book. Um, and he, wow, it's got, he had a twenty one ninety nine price tag on it. This is awesome. Look at that. It's even a larger format size than, um, the original, I mean, than normal, it's not, it's a larger format than a modern book. Um, so if I take a modern book and put it up next to it, you can see how it's bigger. So it's more like an actual true proper facsimile. That is phenomenal. Holy cow. Oh, he's got it inside of another bag of board. What is this? On the back says facsimile edition. It's got seal on it. And they got the barcode on thrown out. Startling Wonder 49. Ooh, man. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for hooking me up and helping me out with this. This is awesome. <laughs> that's probably the closest I will ever have to owning this particular book but at least I have I have this now that's awesome thank you sir alright next up alright this is oh from James Jimmy Jam Garage Sale so if you're paying attention to the channel you may have noticed a couple weeks back, um, I did a unboxed a Jimmy Jam's Garage Sale mystery box. I'll put that link to that video there in case you want to go check it out. Uh, and in that, uh, it was a custom curated box, which was totally awesome. So uh, there was a dollar price, but on the box, you gave him a list of what books it was that you wanted um, to put together, and um, he then curated a box for you. Um, and then he sent, um, you know, I opened it up and there was, um, uh, there was a, there was an issue with the, uh, 
with a box, and in his opinion, that it didn't um, meet value. And so he said, I'm going to send you some stuff to make up for it. And I'm like, oh, all right, cool. But this is like, like an awful lot. Um, and as I'm doing this, as I'm thinking about this, I'm wondering if I had ordered another mystery box from him or something, mystery bundle from him, and he combined shipping. So I'm going to cut right here before I open this too far. All right, so I'm back. Uh, so actually, no, I didn't uh, purchase anything else from him. What it was, is I forgot, with the um, entry into that custom curated box, there was a drawing for um, a slab, uh, for bon bonus drawing stuff. And uh, one, of the one of the people who won, uh, won twice, and I was the next person up. So they, the guy said, oh, I just take one of the two prizes, go ahead and pass the other one on to the next person. So I got um, a slab. And so this is a Something is Killing the Children, uh, issue number 11 in a 9.8. This is hilarious in that this is a book that just keeps boomeranging back. Uh, it's like coming back to me. I had this in a 9.8. Um, I had it signed uh, by Jenny Frizen. And then I think we sold it or gave it, got rid of it during a comics curing cancer. Uh, and now I got another 9.8 back. So there we go. So anyways, I'll add this to the PC for now. We'll make do give it away again, either at C3 or for some other purpose, because I'm not a something that's killing the children person, but that's totally cool. I appreciate getting uh, the item that Jimmy does, that bonus drawing. So these books are the makeup. Um, so he said, hey, your box didn't hit value. And I said, oh, the hell it didn't. I mean, I got a box. It was exactly at the dollar amount I paid for as far as a cover price value, but it was all books for my PC, 100%. So I loved the box. I thought it was spot on. I told him he didn't have to do anything, but he said, no, it doesn't meet my target. So I want to do this to make to to make it up to you. And now I'm ex I was expecting maybe one or two books, but there's a whole another stack of books okay so there. interesting enough we got this whole stack of books that he sent as makeup and as an open this side so we will start on this side and open it up and see what we got here first up spider-man 8 there you go. civil war 2 uh peter power spectacular spider-man issue 16 i'm not gonna run any totals or values upon this because like i said i already hit value these are all bonus books now um so that's awesome Yes, the monsters are coming. Beware. Issue three. Oh, yeah. Spider-Man nine. This is that um, ultimate Spider-Man. So this is the second ultimate Spider-Man series. So it's like still Peter Parker stuff in there. Um, oh, yeah. So weird monster tales. Issue number two. I was kidnapped by flying saucers. Look at all those little aliens. Look like little Ben Grimm's. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Maybe they were the ones those cosmic rays hit Ben Grimm. Uh, Spider-Man 7 from Civil War 2. Alright, this is gigantic strange adventures so these are reprints from mystery in space um i'm assuming because i recognize that cover um yeah search at lost yeah so these are like uh the atomic knights so yeah these are stories uh reprints from uh strange adventures and from mystery in space but that's cool i like that uh spider-man 240 Farewell to Miles Morales. Yeah, that didn't stick. Uh, and then Web of Spider-Man issue 15. Perfect. A whole stack of Spider-Man stuff because he knows and, and monster stuff because he knows that's what I dig. So rock on. Thank you, sir. Slabby dabby do time. We got three slabs here, folks. We'll go ahead and take a look, see what we got here. This first one, this is from my comic shop.com. Um, it's one of these places that I check 
for books when I'm doing my rounds. I have a list. I've talked about it. I have a list of books that I'm tracking that I want to pick up and I periodically do some rounds. I check short box. I check eBay. I check my comic shop. I check, um, comic collectors. I check, you know, my slabs, you know, whatever. And I'm looking to see, you know, what they're going for, trying to find, um, a book, the books I want in the grade I want at the price I want. And then I'll move on if I don't, they don't have it. And what's nice about my comic shop is they list a lot of their stuff on eBay. So when I'm checking eBay, I can sometimes be checking them too. And if I see their tag on it, because they have a special tag, then I know to go to that site because their website is always going to be cheaper. Um, so this first book up, this is as a, uh, continuing my uh, pickups of Captain America books. Because the Silver Age Captain America books, I decided I want to pick up like the first... 30 roughly issues. They're in high grade. They're stupid cheap. Uh, this one, here we go. This is um, uh, Nick Fury and Dum Dum Dugan uh, appearance, is all that's listed here. But this is a first appearance. It's a minor key first appearance of another care. Oh, Suprema. Um, the Mysterious Suprema. Yeah, he's uh, it's his first appearance. Obviously not noted on this thing, but there you go. And a 9.2. Uh, this book was like. What is it? Do I have the receipt here? Oh yeah, it was seventy dollars. So seventy bucks for a nine point two Silver Age book from nineteen seventy, or maybe this was Bronze Age. It is it does say fifteen cents on it now. So we're right in that we're tipping between silver and bronze. But there we go. So there's that book. Uh, next up. We get another one. This one's going to be, uh, this is an eBay box. All right, so this is continuing on again. Another one. This is Captain America 102. So this is the second book in the solo series of Captain America in a 9.0. Uh, and this is, uh, that it is Red Skull and Sleeper Appearance, a uh, letter from Doug Munch. Uh, this is Off White Pages 9.0, issue 102. Absolutely awesome. I'm sure it's going to be so cool to have. I'm going to love it when I have them all and I have this run. I'm going to have to go back and upgrade my 101 because it's only a 6.0 right now. But to have a run of 101 through 130, all of them, like most of them are 992s, a few 885s. Uh, but that's going to be just absolutely awesome. Then I'll probably be like, oh, no, I need to upgrade those 8.5s, eight, 8 too. Um, and I probably will because I'll be OCD and be like, oh, no, I can't possibly have just one of these um, or these two, these two eight point something books when everything else is a nine. All right. So this one was a pain in the butt to get out. Uh, lots of newspaper completely wrapped like it was a precious present. Everything else. But crazy. So this is not a Captain America book. Oh my goodness, what do we get? So let me pull this up. This is a uh, key I've been looking at for a while and the price on it now has come down where I was super happy to pick this up uh, and actually even jump up a grade um, from what I was looking at in a newsstand from 1979. This is Marvel Premiere number 47. Scott Lang becomes the Ant-Man. So here you are. Marvel Premiere 47 in a 9.6. Booyah. That's a hot book. I like that. Um, actually, it's not a hot book. I don't know why I said hot. I mean, it's cooled down. Ant-Man's kind of behind us. Uh, the movies, but this is what's great. The movies are behind us. It's still a great key to pick up. Uh, 1979, we're crossing from the end of the Bronze Age into that uh, Copper Age here. Bob Layton cover. Uh, just a great key to have um, at a good price in a phenomenal grade. Happy to pick that one up. And that's going to do it for this Monday Mail Call. Uh, three slabs. The Ant-Man, the Captain America 102, and that Captain America uh, 123. Uh, so which of the slabs is your favorite? The Captain America's, an Ant-Man, um, you know, what? It, or I think, in spite I love all that, I think my favorite 
is going to be this facsimile of Starlight Comics 49, just because I know I'm never going to have it. Uh, and right up there, dude, again, thank you out to the Mad Collector. Um, these terrifying Crimson Bat variants. Thank you so much that. And Jimmy Jam's making it right with a stack full of Spider-Man books. Uh, even though I already thought the mystery box that he had done hit the goal, he wanted to do more. He delivers. Guys, I'm blessed. Oh, and Brian LCS. Thank you, dude, with that Spider-Man tumbler from Spidey's Powder Tumblers. <sighs> Until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a pile of packing material and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.